This video is a quick overview of the Azure Data Factory Copy Data Wizard. At the end of the video, I give a demonstration on installing the integration runtime service, which is required to uh, connect to a SQL Server uh, on-prem database. I hope you enjoy the video and find it useful. After opening Data Factory, on the home page, click on the ingest pane. This will bring you to the first step of the wizard. The built-in copy task pane will already be selected. You can choose your scheduling options here too. I have selected run once now. On the left hand side, you can see the five steps of the wizard. There are steps within those two. So strictly speaking, there are far more than five steps. So clicking next, us to the next page. Here we specify the source data, select the source type, in this case, it is SQL Server. Next is the connection. I've already created it within the authoring editor in ADF. So it appears here ready for selection. You can see the connection properties when I hover over the connection. It shows the database name, username, and server IP address. Immediately, the wizard connects to the data source displaying the tables found. Selecting a table for copying, I click Next. Here we can apply a filter to the tables we want to copy. Clicking the preview button displays the first few rows of the selected table. Clicking next takes me to the next stage of the wizard. Here the details of the destination are entered. I have selected blob storage and already created the connection previously in the authoring section of Data Factory. You can specify the folder path here and if one does not already exist, the wizard will create it. Here I use the browse button to select the folder in my blob storage account container. There is no need to enter a file name as the name of the table being copied will copy over to. Here we can change the file format settings, though this is not needed as Data Factory detects the schema and uses it for the copying operation. In the settings stage, you can change the task name. This is actually the name of the pipeline being created. Next, we see a summary of what we have entered into the wizard. Clicking next runs the wizard. Clicking the monitor button brings you to the authoring editor in Data Factory. You need to click monitor again in the left pane. You will see the actions run in the pipeline here. You can see the pipeline that was created by the wizard here. You can also examine the data sets created by the wizard. In the dataset connection tab, you can see the linked service that was used for each data set. Now, in order to connect to an on-prem SQL Server database, an integration runtime service needs to be installed here. I explain the steps that are involved in that. You cannot have any data gateways installed on the same machine as the integration runtime. So here I'm deleting my existing gateways.
In the Power Platform Admin Center, we also need to remove the gateway because it was registered there previously. And we're doing that here. And now to actually download the uh, integration service uh, as part of the wizard, it gives an option one to download the express setup. And we click that, it downloads to our downloads folder. We run the uh, software. Uh, now this will install the runtime service on the machine we are currently using. Now, as you can see, it takes us through uh, some steps uh, of installation and notifying each um, of the critical parts of that. The integration runtime service already installed can be used for any other pipeline that you want to create in the future.